with Carson Vicroy. All right, let's check in with KETK's meteorologist Carson Vicroy. What's it looking like out there? Well, it looks beautiful out there right now, Annalise. You can see just a just a few clouds outside. Again, this is our Tyler Tower Cam just outside of our KETK studios. So it's going to be a nice afternoon. We're going to have some sunshine as early on as this evening. But notice out to our west, this has been very interesting to see some of this rain push in. Of course, not all of this is reaching the ground at this point and what this has done is it's pumped in some humidity, some very warm air from the Gulf of Mexico, but changes are on the way because of this cold front right now in New Mexico. It's going to be pushing across the area as we go into tonight and tomorrow morning, but temperatures right now we are in the 70s to start at 77 already in Mineola 77 degrees. That's the current reading at Tyler Pounds Airport. Same in Jacksonville, a little further down to the south. I've got us at 75 in Mount Enterprise already 81 degrees in Lufkin. It is quite steamy in Huntington as well, where they are at 84. And what makes this feel a little worse are those relative humidity values. Look at some of these numbers anywhere from 65 to 75 percent up to 85 percent in Linden. So it's very warm out there. It's also very humid. So today high temperatures are going to be in the upper 80s. That is area wide, partly cloudy skies again by this evening. Temperatures will be in the 60s with increasing clouds before midnight with a passing shower after midnight tonight and clouds and radar right now. As I mentioned, a few raindrops that are not really reaching the ground, but we do have a few clouds that are still out in the area and on future cast. We do see that through at least noontime. However, as we go into this evening, notice we have more sunshine in the forecast than what we do cloud cover. This is six o'clock. We're still safe from the rain. However, as we go into about midnight, we're going to start watching out west for a cold front to push into our northwestern counties. And as a result, we are dealing with a few showers. This is eight o'clock tomorrow morning. So if you are planning on going outside and practicing social distancing, you're going to want to remember those umbrellas. Now cold front pushes through. We've got bubble up showers and thunderstorms through about two o'clock on Saturday. And again, this is not a great chance. Only about 20 to 30 percent of us will see the rain fall through tomorrow morning, but by tomorrow evening and Sunday morning, we're done with the rain and we're actually looking at some pretty nice conditions. So your future cast rain amounts again, maybe a couple hundredths of an inch for our central counties, more so for our deep east Texas counties where we could pick up a two tenths to three tenths to four tenths of an inch. But as we go into Monday, that is going to be where we see the better rain chance. So rain chances on Saturday, 77 Monday or Sunday. Monday, we'll see a few showers and thunderstorms throughout the day with temperatures generally in the 60s, 71 on Tuesday and similar story there for deep east Texas. Annalise.